We are Lagos Talks 91.3. Let's talk. The John Wilder story is quite interesting. So finally, he wants to fight Joshua. As uh, so your brother said, we are at this time of the morning. You know, they've been begging, you know, for yeah, you. Joshua is a target now. <laughs> you, know, you know, funny, you Joshua know. is a target now. Easy picking. <laughs> it's not even that. Joshua, Joshua is in a bit of a pickle. You know, just about Joshua, Joshua isn't here. I mean, uh, this is different stories and stuff. Joshua lost quite a bit of money. Last year, you know, his um, his um, s- sponsorships dropped. I think he lost over three million in period. Naira. Uh, sorry, pounds in the period um, between um, uh, uh, between um, twenty twenty and twenty twenty one or something. Where he's lost to lose, it cost him a lot of money. Mm-hmm. His his market value will drop. Um, his um, management group is decidedly worried about. In fact, I don't think the Fury fight is taking place anymore. And if you ask me, the people that scuppered that deal were Eddie Hearn and, his, and you know Joshua's side, because they're really not sure whether uh, Joshua can take out Fury. If they felt they could, they would have jumped at it, because that would have made Joshua a world champion champion again. But if he lost that fight, he would have fallen down the pecking order. Now look at him; uh, that uh, um, Wild, Wilder is now talking of fighting him. So because both of them are seeking relevance. And and it's 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 really really sad, you know, for Joshua. I a yeah, fight I, with Fury in December would have been way too soon. Well, you, you I mean, well, way too it soon. Should, whether it's um, yeah, well, maybe too early for him. But even if it was December or January or February, wh- whenever he fights with you, honestly, reckon on the scale of one to ten that it Joshua takes one good punch. Now I know that's yeah, that's it takes one good punch. But, of all the fighters in the in the world, one I think Fury has the head, the hardest chin in heavyweight boxing uh, today among today's boxers and two before you can even hit him look at uh, Usyk now Joshua threw everything he could at Usyk but he just couldn't hit him it was almost like watching a latter day mm-hmm. heavyweight it's reincarnation no, he hit uh, Usyk a couple of times punch is not uh, as, his punch is not as heavy a couple as of times. a couple of times but he couldn't put him down the punch is not just as heavy as we think it is no it is but you know it was it is. but now it's not falling where, where would he where when last did he have a knockout he, you, you can only knock out what you can hit now uh, if you can't land the, the, the punch of the guy flush to take him out then he's, you know Joshua yeah. still has age and time on oh, his yes. side you well, know, it's, it's still you know because he's lost it doesn't mean he can't Which, get it back don't get me wrong I'm not right but I just wrong. think that you know fighting Fury in December would have been way too soon and that, would, that was a big risk massive to risk to take <laughs> you know because any time any time exactly any time he needs to fight I, Fury. If I, I think we, we can all agree that fighting Fury is not the most rational. I mean, there's a now, lot to gain now. Yes, fighting Fury nice. in no, December. It's, no, it's not realistic. December, January, February, March, April. May. No, I think I th- seriously. I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I really do believe that Joshua just might have something enough to take out Fury. When? when not Fury, in December. When will Fury is like 50-55? Not, 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 not now. Not this year. If you schedule that fight for sometime next year, the first quarter of next year, I believe uh, Joshua can have something can for be that good enough for it. Yes, I do to believe. win the fight. Yes, I do believe. Mm, I, don't know. I do believe. He will be beat. He will be beat. They will beat. They will beat Joshua back I to Africa. I do believe. He will be back to Africa. <laughs> yeah, well. But I think that it's why is all of a sudden why is Wilder wanting to fight here now? He's looking for new ways to make money. Exactly. He has forgotten maybe, maybe now. He's he's broke. Broke. Maybe. <laughs> People were begging him then for a fight. Uh, to fight with. So uh, when through. it was them in, yes. it was them in control of the title. Yes. And the fairest AJ was chasing yes. up and now while they were dodgy, dodgy, then dodgy. They brought the fight to Africa. We will love it. No, yeah, but then AJ was on fire now. He knew he was going to lose. I guess AJ was on fire. I guess now everybody believes he can. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should concentrate more on the fight against Hellenis, um, who is a brawler. Yeah, but that's who that's who um that's who Wilder is Wilder, fighting. That's what yes. I'm saying. Concentrate uh, okay. more on that and stop talking about Joshua. But then yeah. who does Joshua fight to game to regain relevance? Look for one journey man. Look just a journey man. Beat some you know, just something that you're sure of. Yes. Yes. You know, find oh, a way to come oh, up like an Andy Ruiz, Ruiz Abby. No, not Andy Ruiz. Don't touch Andy Ruiz. <laughs> Look for another job. Maybe it's an old timer mm. who is about to retire. Just help him retire. All right. We are Lagos Talks 91.3. Let's talk.